When I catch my horses, I'm not overly concerned how I do it. I just want it to be respectful. I need to have my halter organized. I don't want to get to my horse and get organized at my horse. Something might bother him and he might leave. I don't like to use a bucket of grain. I want my horses to want to be caught. I don't want to have to chase them around. But if you have a horse that's difficult or bad to catch, we need to get them into an area that we can control. If we're in too big of an area, they're just gonna run away from us, there's nothing we can do. We'll stay out there for days. But if we can get them into a smaller area, a small corral or a small alleyway or a round pen even or something, so we can get in there and let the horse realize that we control the environment, it makes catching our horse much easier. There's nothing wrong with putting a horse in a round pen and teaching it how to hook onto you and how to get caught easier. And I, I think a lot of that and I do it a lot on my own, but I do think there's a misconception all people see is you put a horse in a round pen and you run him and run him and run him and run him until he's so tired he can't run anymore. Well they've missed so many opportunities that that horse had shown them because they were too ignorant to notice the small subtleties that the horse had given them. As you can see when I approach this mare I'm using my natural environment. I'm between two fences. I have the mare in the corner and if she moves to the left I move to the left. If she moves to the right I move to the right. I match her step until she realizes it's okay to be caught. Now if you notice catching this paint, he's a little harder to catch. He's pretty sure he doesn't want to be caught. So we put him into a smaller corral, which then we put him into a smaller alleyway to have our environment become a better situation for him to want to be caught. But notice that I'm moving slow. My arm gestures are slow. I don't want to feel like a threat to the horse whatsoever. I may stand sideways to a horse so I don't look as big and square. That can also scare a horse if I can stand sideways, but I always have everything organized. I'm gonna pet my horse. If he'll let me, I'll let him sniff my hand. I'll rub on his nose. I'll rub on his neck and I'll slowly slip that lead rope around his neck and get him haltered. But I want every movement to be very fluid so as not to scare him while I'm in the process of that. If we could just teach our horses that we want to be friends, catching them would be easy. There wouldn't be a problem with it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. 